Lesson 1.6, Different Names for Numbers, we're going to trade tens and ones. We can show the value of a number in different ways. We can use base 10 blocks to show different amounts of tens and ones for a number. We can show 23 as two tens, that's 10 and that's 10, we have two of them, and three ones. We have two tens and three ones. That's 20 plus three. And we can show 23 as one ten and 13 ones. That's 10 plus 13. We can show it as 23 ones. That's zero tens plus 23 ones. That's 23. We can show it in different ways using different amounts of tens and ones. We can exchange, that means trade, 10 ones for one ten. We can exchange 20 ones for two tens. Here we have 23 ones. That's 10, that's 10, that makes 20. And three more, we have 23 ones. And we can write it as zero tens, because we have no strips of tens here. We have zero tens and 23 ones. We can also group this as a 10 and have one 10 and 13 ones. This is a 10 and we count these as 13 ones. We can also exchange this 10 ones for another 10. Now we can say we have two 10s and three ones. We can say 23 is zero tens and 23 ones, or one ten and 13 ones, or two tens and three ones. When we exchange or trade, the values have to be the same. When we trade a base 10 block for ones, we always have to trade it for 10 ones. If we count each of these squares, we'll count 10 little squares. That's a strip of 10, and it's equal to 10 ones. The blocks show the number 26. We need to describe the blocks in two ways. How many strips of 10 do we see? I see one, two tens. How many ones do we see? I see one, two, three, four, five, six ones. We can write 26 in expanded form. Two tens is 20. And six ones is equal to six. 26 is equal to two tens, six ones, and 26 is equal to 20 plus 6. The blocks show the number 34. We need to describe the number in two ways. And how many tens and ones do we see? I see one, two strip of tens, and I see 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, ones. Two tens, 14 ones, is 34, and 34 is 20, that's the two tens, plus 14, that's the 14 ones. The blocks show the number 21. We need to describe the number in two ways. Do you see any strips of 10? No, I don't see any. We have zero tens and we have 10 here, 10 here, that's 20, and a one more, that's 21 little squares for 21 ones. Each of these little units is equal to one, we have 21 ones. That's equal 
to zero tens and twenty-one ones. Twenty-one is equal to zero plus twenty-one. We can write the number 45 using different values for the tens and ones. Here we have 45 little dots. There's zero strips of 10 and 45 little one dots. We could also regroup or exchange one of these sets of 10 dots as 110. And we can write 45 as 110 and 35 ones. We can trade another group of 10 dots for another 10. And we can write 45 as two tens and 25 ones. And we can group another set of ones as another 10 and write 45 as three tens and 15 ones. And we can circle this last group of 10 ones and count it as a 10. Now we have 10, 20, 30, 40. That's four tens and five ones. So we can show the value of the number 45 in all these different ways. We can show them in different amounts of tens and ones. Tala has three boxes of 10 cookies. She also has 22 single cookies. So remember, single means one. That means she has 22 ones. How many cookies does Tala have? So we think we can draw a quick picture to solve this problem. We can make a line for each 10. She has three boxes of 10 cookies. So that's one, two, three boxes of 10. She has 22 single cookies. We can make little dots, 22 of them for the 22 single cookies. And we can trade 20 ones for two tens. We can group the 10 ones here to be a 10, and we can group this 10 to be another 10. Now we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 and two ones. That means Tala has five tens and two ones. She has 52 cookies. So just remember when you're making a quick picture to help solve a problem, it's a quick picture. It's not a fancy picture. So we just make a line for a 10 and a dot for ones. She had Three tens and twenty-two ones, that's three tens and twenty-two ones, and it was equal to five tens and two ones. We traded these ten to be one of these ten, like this one. See, here's three tens, here's three tens. We traded this ten ones to be this 10 right here. And we traded this group of 10 ones to be this strip of 10. And then we had the two left over. So three tens and 22 ones is equal to five tens and two ones. 30 plus 22 is equal to 50 plus two. Our next lesson, 1.7, it's going to be about word problem solving for tens and ones. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope you'll join me in the next video. Bye.